As an educator, I often get asked, what can I do with my biology degree? Students often think that whatever you decide to do at university actually will define your career path. And in some cases it's true. So for example, if you choose to do medicine at university, then yes, okay, most likely you will become a doctor. However, university is there to study your favorite subject in which you're going to, if you love it, you're going to succeed. However, in most cases, your career journey doesn't necessarily follow your university degree. And instead, I recommend do a subject that you absolutely love, because if you are likely to pursue that at university level and you love that subject, you're more likely to do more work for it and hence to do well. And it's more important to do a more general subject so it opens many career options for you in future. And biology, of course, is one of those degrees. And I'm going to share with you in this video what career path you can do after your biology degree. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Number one, scientific research. Obviously, this is like a most obvious career path that by the end of your third year, if you decide you really love the lab work, it's quite common for students to do their master's degree, which will take one year and then maybe go on and do PhD, which can take three to four years, depending on the program. With scientific research, you get to work on the question that nobody ever worked for. You are going to be designing your own experiments to answer those questions. So you get quite a bit of autonomy, uh, depending on your lab you work with, which is quite exciting. And then after that, after your PhD, once you defend your thesis and you become a doctor, an academic doctor, you can then basically do a postdoc position with any lab for about maybe three to five years. And the ultimate goal is to then have your own lab and you will have other scientists working with you and your team on discovering the question that matters to you the most within biological research. If you don't want to have your own lab, some people actually might decide to go and work for and do research for companies, such as pharmaceutical companies. You might not get so much autonomy but, and instead you're basically told to, what research to do, but for some people it might suit them better. Number two, law. Let's say that scientific research is not for you, which is absolutely fine. This is where the doors are open for you. Biology offers and teaches you so many different transferable skills, such as problem solving, analytical thinking, and time management, which you can basically take to any career. After your biology degree, you could decide to do a conversion course in law and basically become a lawyer, either going down the solicitor or barrister route and specialize in any law you want to. And this is quite cool because basically you can do pretty much any degree and then do a conversion course allowing you to enter legal profession. The other option you have is specialized straight into intellectual property law or otherwise known as a patent law. Um, and in that sphere, they specifically hire scientists who have a PhD or masters in some cases. So the firms in intellectual property, they usually say, that you can teach law to a scientist, but you can't teach science to a lawyer. So in this profession, you would be writing patents, so legal protection for scientific inventions in different spheres. And obviously being a biology uh, graduate, you can specialize in the biological sciences down the intellectual property route. And the interesting thing is, is that you don't have to do the conversion course in this case, but you do exams on the jobs that usually is paid by your company. The third career is the finance career. Again, because you've learned so many valuable transferable skills within your biology degree, you can basically enter the financial industry. You have so many choices. You can go down the management consultancy route, you could do investment banking, you can become an accountant, or you can go and become an actuary instead. You just need to have a genuine passion for economics and finance. And for example, for accountancy or actuarial sciences, you have to do extra exams on the job normally, but for investment banking or management consultancy, you can just go straight into the profession if it's something that you love doing. The career choice number four is graduate medicine. So let's say you wanted to become a doctor before, but you didn't get into medicine because it's more competitive as an undergraduate degree. It might be an option for you now to go down the route of graduate medicine. I will say it is more competitive because there are fewer places available compared to undergraduate medicine. However, you will have a competitive advantage in a sense that you've done a biology undergraduate degree. So you already have that foundation knowledge 
for your medical degree, which you will be very useful bringing into the practical work. As for graduate medicine, you would have to do one year less uh, for your undergraduate degree, but there is also less of a dropout rate. So it might be a great chance for you to study medicine if that was your dream before. Number five is education. If you love education and your passion is to pass your knowledge to younger generation, education might be your route. So if you've done biology degree, you could go and teach different sciences, but let's assume that you decide to teach biology. There are different options. You either can decide to do PGC qualification, which uh, government provides generous tax-free bursaries, but please do verify and check this information yourself. And you could then do PGC uh, graduate degree, which usually takes a year or two, through which you learn how to become a teacher and then you get your placements within that degree as well. However, it's not necessarily to do PGC for private schools and some private schools will offer you a job straight away. There are not enough biology and STEM teachers in general uh, in the educational industry, so that might be a great career path for you. Least but not last career path is founding your own business. This is, in my opinion, is the most exciting because I obviously founded my own educational consultancy business after my biology degree and then my educational career as well. And I've basically kind of brought two of my passions together. But I will say that if you do decide to open your own business in any industry you want, you do need to go and spend maybe two, three years in a job and then learn kind of the skills and then go and open your own business. I'll make a whole separate video on what it's like running your own business. It suits my personality. I just love being my own boss as well. I love that I can bring my different passions for education and biology together and actually help students like you, you know, on their academic journey. I hope you really enjoyed this video. So I hope it shows to you you have so many options after your biology degree and I'm sure you can even add more to my comments below. So it's just a few that I thought I'd share with you. Please, if you love this video, press the likes, press the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.